Hello everyone, it's Diane and I'm ready to get these little um, books in the shop, these journals that I created and this one is already spoken for. This one is created with a Rand McNally book, an elf book. So let's go through this one first since this is the one that will be available to the first person who wants it. It's called The Children That Lived in a Shoe. Isn't that cute? I put some book corners on it and I put this fabric on the spine. It has three signatures and um, the outer signatures have buttons. I didn't put buttons on the on the middle signature this time because sometimes I have trouble with the buttons wanting to be in the same place. And here's the back. I just think it's really cute. That elf. I used some um, upholstery kind of a braid um, along the edges of the fabric. <clears throat> I used Studio 28E's digital kit. This is my um, design team project for Studio 28E for the month of December. And the kit is called Vintage Flower Children. Mrs. Coggs has uh, similar images called, I think it's just called Flower Children. And then she also has Wild flower children, but I just used flower children. I added a few of Mrs. Cog's images, but most of the items in here are from Studio 28E. I love the inner pages of this book. Now, uh, a Rand McNally book is put together differently than a golden book. There are more pages. <clears throat> and when I put took this one apart, it was kind of odd because a couple of the pages weren't connected to another page. I'm not sure how that happened, but so I had to do it differently. So each of the three signatures does have book pages and they are in the correct order. So here we have just a piece of gathered trim that I got at Hobby Lobby. And there is a vintage cigarette card with flowers on it. And this is Miss California Poppy. So this is from the kit with some journaling lines on it. Um, I used some of my vintage Denison flower stickers and I just punched out a round circle behind to put behind it and then a scallop circle. This image is from the kit. This is um, scrapbook paper. Here's a playing card that I thought looked really nice with this kit and this is from the kit also. I did not coffee dye the paper. I wanted it to be more fresh looking than that, but I did do some spraying and stenciling. Or at least spraying. I don't know if I actually stenciled. Copyright on this looks like 1951. It's in Roman numerals, but I think that's 51. This little band here is from the kit. I added some fabric tabs. I was going to put some, I'll put something hanging on there. I don't know what, but I'll, I didn't do that and I will. I got some floral note cards. They were, there is one for each month. I got them at a flea market, I think, or yeah, I think I got them at the flea market, either that or Salvation Army. So I put one in each signature. This is from the kit. There's a little bit of stamping there. This is vintage wrapping paper and it's got a little bit of embossing. Nasturtium. I love nasturtiums. some stenciling or um yeah spraying through stencils and stamping and then I in the center of each signature I put an envelope that I made from large children's book pages this was just a blank large index card and I cut it to size and rounded the corners hyacinth this is from the kit and I put it on as a pocket and this is from the kit also. So 
So some of the images from the kits, they don't have the flower children on them. They can be used in any type of journal. This is a vintage trim right here. A little flip here. This is a sticky note. I put it on the back of the of the note card covering up the writing back there. There's a little collage here with some burlap and fabric and lace. This is a vintage French flower seed packet label. That was a lot of words for one little label. But it is vintage and it's genuine. Um, this is from the kit and this is from the kit. A little jalopy made out of forget-me-nots. And here's a playing card. I have a lot of vintage playing cards. The two that I've shown you so far are ones that were sent to me in Happy Mail. So I've included quite a few. I decided it would be fun to make banners out of the vintage feed sack. So I just cut some with my pinking shears, some triangle shapes, and stitched them across there. I see that um, Jennifer has added quite a few new listings in her shop with the feed sack fabrics. That's um, fabric thread needle. This is a um, shipping tag, and this is an image from the kit. The images that um, Sherry used in Studio 28E, they have, if it's one of the little flower children card type of things, it has a green border. Mrs. Cog's um, they don't have a border around them. It's just uh, just a very pale background. So um, th th these were easier to cut out anyway. So this is fabric. There are some stamps there, some floral stamps. And this is from the kit, and this is some vintage trim. This is a double pocket right here. Just two pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. A thumb notch cut out and there is a vintage Denison sticker there. I'll get that in later. And this is from the kit. I love that crinkled up notebook paper and another flower card. And on the back of the signature I just put a guest check and a Denison sticker. Here's the next signature with the ruffle trim. This is from the kit. It's a ledger page. This is one of Mrs. Cog's images and an image, a uh, greeting card, a uh, playing card. There's another Denison sticker there. Some green ledger paper. Here we have, I love this paper. This actually came from a K and Company smash book. I loved the colors and it's Tinker Toys. My brothers used to play with Tinker Toys. But this is, this came with some vintage um, current wrapping paper. The wrapping paper looks like this and it had two of the little gift cards inside. So I just clipped one here. I'll put some seam binding on that paper clip too. I finished these before Christmas and put them away, but I guess I forgot a couple of the details. Here's another little floral note card. Some vintage wrapping paper. Another playing card and a Mrs. Cog's image. And this little pocket is adorable and it's in the kit. Here's a book page made into an envelope. This was a very, very cute book, children's book, with large pages, but it was fragile. So I had to put um, mass, um, washi tape around all of the edges because it would crack when I folded it. It just has some kittens on it. I love Johnny Jump Ups too. This is another cigarette card. There's a pocket here. 
and I just um, glued on a piece of a leftover strip of the paper that I used. That's from the kit, and this is from the um, yeah, this is from the kit. And there's the envelope that that little um, current gift card came in. So I just tucked it in there. Some blue lace here. This is one of the muslin pieces that I colored with my sprays, I think. I can't remember now how I colored it. It was alcohol inks or sprays. Guess check on the back of that card. This one is an envelope from the kit. There's a butterfly and some flowers. And there's nothing inside. Now there are, oh, I th I'm thinking 22. Um, another feed sack fabric banner. Uh, 22 full pages in the kit, plus the envelopes and cards and things. Um, she sent me the add-on kit also, but in the main kit there are 22 pages, I believe. So I divided those pages up between these two journals. I got two journals out of one kit. Here's another collage here. This pretty pocket, little corner pocket, is from the kit. You get two, two of those pockets in each printout of the kit. And there's one of um, Mrs. Cog's images. This is in the kit. This is in the kit. And this is Mrs. Cog's. And a Denison sticker. There's a Denison sticker there. Looks like a Christmas book, but that's just some of the pages in this book. Talks about what they did for Valentine's and Easter and Christmas. It's another of the uh, flower of the month. I guess there's only two in each journal because the second, the middle signature had a different floral card. And here is the wrapping paper that that note card came with. It's a really nice quality current wrapping paper. I like this page from the kit. It has some seed packets down there. This is from a um, botanical book that I have. And the pages are landscape, so I love that. Another of the envelopes that I made with the children's book page. And a little fabric flip. Look at all those bright colors. That whole page is so colorful. These are some of the felt pieces that I got at um, the flea market that I went to with my friend. And I got a whole bunch of um, scrapbook papers. And there was a packet of um, close to my heart felt punch out pieces. So I just used a few of them there. There's another pocket here with a vintage cigarette card and these are all images from the kit. Tags and journaling card. And another collage and these are from a little vintage memoranda book. I tore out the pages and just glued them down. More feed sack fabric. Here's another envelope from the kit. And another double pocket. This one has a rose. I believe I showed that in one of my videos when I was making ephemera. And this double pocket um, just has a little tuck spot instead of a pocket that goes all the way across. It's just a tuck spot. There's some coffee dyed um, cheesecloth and a vintage cigarette card and two images. Oh, this is Mrs. Cogs and this is from the kit. Another Denison sticker. And there we go. There, there's some discoloration on the back here. I'm not sure what that's from. It doesn't feel like it was from sticky tape or anything. So it's just a kind of a yellow band there. There is some goldish colored uh, ribbon glued along 
the fabric edge there. So this one will be in my shop. I will leave the link below. I will also link um, Studio 20AE and Mrs. Coggs and Fabric Thread Needle where I got the um, feed sack fabric. So I'll just quickly go through Perot's ABC Garden. This was the book I originally thought of using with the Flower Children theme. Because it's so whimsical and it's got the garden theme, obviously. It's just a beautiful, fun, whimsical book. There was a sticker up here, a price sticker that wouldn't come off, so I put a yo-yo here. So it does cover up part of the title, but it's Perot's ABC Garden, and there's a little felt button there, part of the close to my heart felt pieces. So there's the buttons on the spine. Again, it's three signatures. And it's got this pretty rickrack. So this is part of, I think this is part of, no, this is from Mary Lou Fallow's um, Porch Swing Designs. She has a page of, of uh, book plates that you can get. So I got that from her and it's got forget-me-nots on it. There's a Pico edge ribbon along this, and this fabric inside here is a vintage um, sheet from the 1970s, very bright colors. This is some lace that somebody sent me. It's, it had the, the gathered lace, and then it had this um, green satin ribbon. It certainly looks vintage. I, I, I don't know how old it is, but somebody sent that to me, and I thought it was perfect for that. So you know... You know that whenever you see these stickers, they're the Vintage Denison stickers. And these pages are from Studio 28E. This is from the Vintage Sheet. No, this is from a Fabric Sample book. This little pocket here came with the kit. Wrapping paper. This is the botanical book. This card goes in the envelope here. Here's a collage. This is the vintage um, seed packet label. that pretty yellow lace there on the edge. This is the second signature. That's just a playing card there. This wrapping paper, the PNZ wrapping paper, there's a piece of it in each journal and it was used so it's kind of crinkled. The lady at the flea market ended up with some used wrapping paper. With Some of it even still had tape on it. And so she just gave it to me. She didn't sell it to me, she just gave it to me. I love the illustrations in that little nursery rhyme book. This one has some eyelet and some gathered sheer ribbon and the vintage cigarette card. I love the colors in this, in both of these books. This have a 1970s sheet here. Do a little collage with a little bit of lace that sticks off the edge. 
And the third signature again has that vintage ruffled lace. This one has January carnation. This is actually one of the the front or back page from that smash book that I have been pulling pages out of. And here is the current card and the little envelope. There's a little bit of fiber behind this image which came in the kit. There's the embossed wrapping paper. There's a little tiny pocket here that I made with these little strips that came in the kit. I had used these and these were the ends that were cut off so I sewed them together and then sewed them to this piece and there's a tiny little envelope here and I made a little card to put inside. There's another one here. I'm going to tuck that in too and they both have Denison labels on them. This is from the smash book. There's a little collage here and the vintage memoranda book. The double pocket. This is a smash book page. An image from the kit and an image from Mrs. Coggs. So, as I said, this one is spoken for. I will list it for my customer, and this one I will list for whoever wants it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.